What's fascinating to me is the PSYOP narrative actually just accomplished everything they could have hoped for. Yeah. It, 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 it seriously, you know, I, all of a sudden, everyone's, everyone who normally doesn't care about quote unquote sports ball, they call it because they like to mock it, are now watching it. And, and there's, there's media all over the board. And then to top it off, you've got the corporate press saying Donald Trump slams Taylor Swift. Like, you know what, man? Whatever, dude. At, at this point, you know, like people are chatting. With, uh, here's one from uh, Victor. He says, was Travis Kelsey manhandling an old man on TV part of the PSYOP? <laughs> I, I, I want to say this. I, I'm, I'm, you guys ready? I don't care that Travis Kelsey yelled at a guy. I, have, I, I don't understand why there are people who are like, sports ball is so dumb. Did you see Travis Kelsey yell at a guy? I'm <laughs> like, I don't get it. I really don't. And so that's why well, he I, chest bumped him. He did chest bump him. I know he's not. I don't think he's a good dude. I mean, yeah. whatever. That was a nasty thing to do. But yeah. I'm kind of like, why do people who don't follow sports? Why are they so into this? No, it's not. I, I think it's not that interesting. Like I've seen I've seen that clip so many times today. And it's sort yeah. of like, OK, yeah, bad moment but for every Super Bowl. There is and probably there are other weird moments at the Super Bowl you could have pulled instead of everyone sort of dogpiling on the same one. I, I, I I'm don't know. I'm proud to say, though, that uh, I was two for three in my my psychic predictions over what was going to happen at the Super Bowl. So when we had the party and we were talking about it, I'm like, look, I bet $100 on the Chiefs to win. And I won 100 and I think I won $101, something like that. Because it was like, they weren't the favorites, I don't know. But I was like, it's really obviously going to happen. At the start of the game, the 49ers are up. And I'm like, well, of course, it has to be this way. <laughs> it has to be that like, oh no. And I'm like, and they're going to show Taylor Swift and she's going to be like biting her nail and going like, oh geez, and they did it. <laughs> Called yeah. that one. But uh, so it's got to be that they come up from behind. It's got to be at the last minute they score the touchdown to win. And Travis Kelsey is going to be the guy to do it. That didn't happen. So I'm only two for three. Although I did. I, you can maybe add like a 2.5 because I said that Taylor Swift would, would look all panicked. But uh, the second to last play, they did throw it to Kelsey. Kelsey almost got it in. But I think it was uh, uh, hard men. I don't know. I don't know a lot, about, a lot about football. All I know is that they ended up winning. And now the expectation is there's going to be some kind of endorsement. And I believe what is likely going to happen, what the strong possibility they're they're So they're going to invite the Chiefs to the White House after winning the Super Bowl. I'm willing to bet Taylor Swift is there. I, I think she'll probably go with Kelsey and that will be their PR opportunity and, and press event. That being said, the only way any political poll comes out of that is if Trump supporters attack Kelsey and Taylor yeah, Swift, which absolutely. they are doing with with zealous fervor, and they'd have to plan that that visit. I don't know how. Again, I'm not I'm not the most avid sports fan here, but I don't know how quickly that that invitation gets extended because she's on tour for the rest of the year. So well, maybe to, she doesn't come. They'd have to plan around Taylor Swift. What I really didn't want to happen was for her to perform at the Democratic National Convention in the summer. But luckily, she's she's in Europe then because I just thought that'd be so annoying. I don't think she's going to get super political. I don't think she's going to endorse this year. I, I really don't. The only way is by them using her. They're using her as a polarization. So they're managing to get if all the Trump people attack her. They're waving. Then this makes her a magnet for the other side. They're waving a red, a red uh, uh, flag at the uh, right, yelling "Toro, Toro." <laughs> yeah. And the right's like, "I'm going to do exactly what Democrats want me to do, and and, and make a big political issue with a pop star for no reason." Yeah. And it's just like, oh, jeez. I felt like she only got involved in politics was when all of the stuff went around the internet where it was like, she's secretly super conservative and she's whatever. Yep. So it was a big show of coming out being, no, no, I, I support the right guy. Like she released that one song where it was like way late to the like, you know, gay rights and gay marriage initiative. Um, it's, it's okay to be gay. It just like, it made no sense. And I think now there's no point. She's making a ton of money this year. She's in the headlines. She doesn't need to come out of any sort of political closet. She's already come out enough. It, it would be point. Look, I... I'll, I'll, I'll say this as we're wrapping up the, the opening segment. I would not be surprised. I'll just say this. In my opinion, I lean towards the NFL's rigged. 